Okay, so I'm gonna try this voiceover thing again, right? So this is the Archdale. This is um, a home that I viewed at Aiken Housing Center in South Carolina, Aiken, South Carolina. The home itself is by Champion Homes. Um, I don't have pricing on it. Let me go ahead and tell you that up front. Um, I do know that this particular home is a modular home. And what sold me on this, and I was so excited to see it, was when I walked into this living room and I saw all the archways. And a 19 by 19 living room is very impressive for a modular or mobile home type. Um, I do believe this one can be made into solely a mobile home and I was advised by the sales rep that I did see that day that if you chose the mobile home route over the modular home route, you could save about $40,000. But this is the modular type home and it is quite impressive. I love a good archway. And as you can see, there were three in this living room that you can see clearly. I live for that. Okay, so as we go into this kitchen, you can see that it's not the biggest kitchen, but it is very well made. Um, going into it, of course, one of the selling points, I think, would be the Sub-Zero refrigerator or Chef's refrigerator, refrigerator, depending on who you ask. Um, it's a 72 inch refrigerator. I do know that. Refrigerator. Well, I sound so country saying that in my bed. I had to give y'all a quick view of the dining room. It's not a whole lot to see because it's not the biggest dining room, but it's very um, uncommon to have an actual set aside dining room space. So I had to show that. Back to the kitchen. Um, it's a, what I would call like a galley style kitchen still because, like I said, it's not very big. It's still functional though. Has nice features. Um, you have an island where you have additional storage and cabinets um, under the island, of course. And, of course, I'm doing this so you can get different angles. You see the pantry across the way. Um, again, that refrigerator, refrigerator still jumps out to me. A lot of people love a good kitchen with a window over the sink area, so it does have that for you. Um, kind of running through this kitchen. Well, not running. <laughs> But um, I try to do this whole thing with looking and looking into the cabinet so that um, you know people can just kind of see how it is. Um, this particular one does have soft close cabinets and a duly soft close drawers if that's important to you. This particular home does have that, but keep in mind that any home that you choose can have that option. Um, I try to go into the pantry so you kind of see what you're working with. They're not the biggest pantry either. Um, just really a closet if you ask me but it has a cute pantry door right that that work that counts for something if i'm if i'm not mistaken it counts for something so yeah that was the kitchen okay and on this side of the house you can see that there is the master bedroom and then this is also the utility room now a utility room is a utility room i, I don't know how people find so much to say about it um, it always seems to have like an exit door which is good i enjoy a good amount of exits um, just because if I need to get away, I can get away. So that's where the <laughs> wash and dryer would go. You got your, uh, what do they call that? Your power switch box. I don't know. I'm not very technical, which is why I probably should not and don't do these voiceovers because most times I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, I did notice that this particular space right here is probably where you would put a deep freezer if that's your thing. See the plug down there see how I put it together. It's probably a deep freezer space. Um, yeah, so normally since it's right here, I would see the master bedroom, but I got a uh, comment once upon a time. Why would I show, why would you show the master bedroom at the very beginning? I'm not interested. So y'all have to wait to the end. Um, I did come back to show y'all another view of this dining room area. I still say area because it doesn't have a door, so I guess it's technically not a room itself. Moving on down to the bedrooms. This particular house has t three bedrooms, two guest or two kid bed bedrooms. 
um, of course they're pretty large in size actually for a modular mobile home um, this is just a standard pan of the room y'all know how y'all know what I give when I do this I just pan over the room so you kind of look at it get some angles if you really want to get a good detail of feel for what you could fit in these rooms <clears throat> go see it yourself no shade to anybody um, this is another of the bedrooms, a third of the bedrooms. Um, they had this one set up with a bunch of different samples, which I thought was a really good use of space for a dealership for because it gives people more of an idea of different options you'll have available. Because you see a lot of times in the comments of different videos that, oh, I don't like that. I would have did this or they should have done this. Well, my dear, you have options. So if you go and you don't, you know, opt to purchase one off the lot and you want to order one and wait, and the wait time right now because of um, <clears throat> CV19, I did not say it, um, the wait time is probably up was towards six, six to seven months from what I've been told. So if you go and pick what you want, you got time to wait on it and it'll be exactly how you want it. So here's another closet. I love when the guest bedrooms have good sized closets like this one. I could have somebody in there. And also you can see here that there's attic space in this particular one because it's a modular built. Um, here's another guest bed bathroom, sorry. Um, so, not a whole lot to see and or say about it. It's a bathroom. I always do this angle for those who wonder so you can kind of get an idea how wide the tub is. Because if you're like me, <clears throat> I'm fat. And I don't like the uh, shower curtain to touch me. I don't, I don't, I don't like that. So, <laughs> that's why I do that. Try to, you know, to try to imagine or for those who want to see as well what that's going to look like or what that's going to feel like so we did another pan of the living room and now we'll go to the master suite and i do mean suite i was thoroughly impressed by this one see upon opening this door you can't really tell that this is a mobile or modular home very large very 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 large master suite bedroom area is abundant I love this. I slowed it down so you can get a real good view of how that looks. It's really nice. I actually thought about using it for my thumbnail, but yeah, we didn't do that. You can see the bathroom off to the side with a double entry. I think that makes it look very fancy. So we move around. And here's something you don't see a closet this size in a mobile or modular home. This particular one is probably uh larger than my mom's closet at her house that's the kind of closet i know she would want you can hang a lot of clothes a lot of shoes store a lot of stuff in this one. it's actually another room they actually could have made a i think a small another bedroom out of this one or if you had like a small baby maybe you could put your uh you know a nursery in there for to put the baby close to the mom or the parent and this one comes with that mirror. All those mirrors are going like, you know, they're the new thing for everybody to have in their house. Like large mirrors like that. And this one came already with one. So I think this will, it's, it's going to be added on to your price. Let's be clear. But it's a nice feature. So going on into the bathroom. Again, I love the, hell. Oh, hey, there's me. Um, I love the double door into this one. Of course, they have a garden soaker tub. What I never understand with homes, um, mobile home places, you put this large tub in here. <clears throat> Why not spring for the jets? I mean, since we're going up now, this shower, this thing, the shower with some teas. I felt real fancy when I looked at that shower. So, yeah, that's just kind of a pan of the bathroom. Um, double sinks, double mirrors. Um, specific, it's a uh, what they call a water closet. A lot of people don't like that feature, but it's there um, and there it is I normally either do a pan up or pan down of the water closet I don't know what I'm doing this very moment it's really moving slow oh okay so you can look at the floor and get the toilet kind of get an idea of what kind of space you have um, uh, yeah hey hey me again that's the sink nothing spectacular about it but this shower door I thought was beautiful and the trim made it give very hotel spa tees so um, yeah I thought it was a really nice feature with the uh, rain shower head if that's what you call it um, it does have seating here now that bench is very low so if your knees are bad like man miss thing you're in trouble 
Molly, you in danger, girl. Because them knees are going to fail you in there. But nonetheless, it's nice. Um, yeah. We're going to go on. We're going to see the utility closet. Uh, not you, goodness, not utility closet. Oh my God, the towel closet, linen closet. That's so rude of me. Y'all gonna read me. Y'all, y'all gonna never ask me to do voiceover again. For all the people who said you should talk during your videos, now you know why I don't because I feel like this. You can look at this and see how you would decorate it. You can make it, make inform your own opinions. Me telling you what I would do is pointless because what I would do is probably not what you would do. And um, I'm not as educated on these. I just like to see them, okay? So I, I don't know what the wall depth was really. I don't know what what how thick the the wall was or the um, sheet rock was. I don't know all of that. I just know it's nice to look at. So anyway, that was another one. This was the arch there. Hopefully you guys at least enjoyed the look <laughs> the look around. Um, I do like a little porridge on the outside. So. Yeah, thanks for watching. See y'all on the next one. Maybe I'll talk, maybe I won't. Okay, bye.